about projects to do this summer, and, and in order to complete the pro some projects, I have to do another project to get to the project. One of them is fix my sledgehammer. I, uh, I broke my sledgehammer last year um, using it, the handle, right, right here at the base, or right here at the base. So, I don't really know what I'm doing exactly, but I mean, how hard can it be? I mean, one end has got to go into the other, and then it's got to be secured somehow. So, so how, how, how hard can it be really? Instead of a wooden handle, which I broke last time, I went with this fiberglass handle in hopes that maybe it'll uh, survive my misuse of it. So, that's the fiberglass there. Should have probably paid it. Well, I inadvertently marred the top of this a little bit with the, with the drill. So I'm guessing it's going to go in like this. So, I'm not one to not use instructions. You know what, there's a lot of things I just don't know. Really? It's got to be that. All right. I'm mostly a Linux computer-y kind of guy. I like my retro. Computer. I like doing things myself. Gotta clean it. Gotta fit it. Seal it. Caulking cord sealer. What's that? Part epoxy. Oh, I see. Right here, there's a it says little little gasket here to make sure it fully seats. So, <laughs> hope I'm doing this right. said thoroughly clean it. I guess I didn't really do that part. What it means by thoroughly clean? Like what is your clean specification? I'm just gonna run a rag through it. All right. Clean. Well, I guess that's probably good enough. All right. Oh. Here's some putty. I'll clean it with wire brush or sandpaper. Pox will not bond to rusty or greasy surfaces. That's not rusty. That's it's surface rust. All right. Well, was, who really breaks a sledgehammer? I mean, is it is this? There you go. Yeah, that looks good. Fill the head in here. All right. Now it's time for the epoxy. I actually wasn't expecting this kind of a mess. So I mix these two parts together. One is a skin irritant, the other is a some other kind of irritant. I don't actually like messing with epoxy. So when I break this handle, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna get this crap out. Should have gone with the wooden axe. Handle. Wooden handle. Wooden sledge handle. That would have probably been wise. All right, put that in the garbage. So mix this kind of bird poo looking mess together. Why won't you focus?
made quite the mess fixing this. And had to do it off camera because, well, the camera's in the way. So, we'll see tomorrow if how this epoxy hardens up. I made too big of a mess. Nah, it'll be fine. Doesn't have to be pretty, just has to work. So it should be great. It should work. Hopefully, it works. Alright, so I have used this. It has held up. I'm pretty pretty pleased with how it's worked. I mean I haven't broken it yet. Did uh did even miss a couple times, I don't think. Yeah, maybe not. Anyway, so yeah, it held up. Just the wooden the wooden handle here that didn't didn't quite make it due to my um, misuse of the tool. So Overall, I'm pretty happy with this. I mean, I still think I should have probably purchased a wooden handle, considering the hassle the epoxy. But overall, I'm actually I'm quite happy with this. It's fixed it for less than the cost of a of a new sledge. So there we go. So if you break your sledge hammer, you can indeed fix it. Thanks for watching.